So the first exercise that we went over in the joint by joint warm up was trunk stability. We covered the dead bug progression in the developmental movement pattern warm up. We covered leg lowering in one of our other playlists, the sort of in betweener strength uh, playlist. I did just a little bit uh, of a recap on leg lowering uh, in this playlist, uh, just in the intro video for the joint by joint warm up. Now we're moving on. We've got our stable central joint segment taken care of. Now we're going to work on some mobility. We're going to do the segment both below the hip and above the thoracic spine, uh, above the lumbar spine, below and above the abdomen. So we've got our stable central segment, the segment below, the segment above that. Those are both mobile segments. There are a couple of different ways I can do this. One of them is the 90-90 with some thoracic rotation. So the 90-90 hip stretch that we explored in the easy strength warm up, I can change that to include some thoracic rotation. And I went over that in the video from the easy strength warm up. So that's one of our options to incorporate some thoracic mobility into our hip mobility exercise. Another, and this is one of my favorites, although it's one of my students' least favorites, uh, is called Thread the Frog. So I'm gonna get into what's called the frog stretch. Kermit the frog stretch. My elbows are close together, my knees are far apart, my feet are the same distance apart as my knees. I'm not bringing those back together like this. They're the same distance apart, and my toes are turned out. I'm gonna make sure when I get into this frog position that my spine is still uh, neutral. It's got the same curvatures that I have when I'm standing up. I'm also going to make sure that my hip is behind my knee when I'm in this frog position. So I'm just going to kind of let my knees slide out a little bit till I feel like I'm going to be rent asunder. Now I'm going to take one arm and thread the needle to incorporate some thoracic rotation into this hip mobility exercise. And this makes it a combination of hip mobility and thoracic mobility. You can take it one step further here. You can put one hand behind your head. You can reach the elbow through and then reach the elbow up, elbow through, elbow up to get some uh, rotation the other direction in the thorax. And as you do this, the knees are going to continue to sort of slide apart and open up a little bit. When you're done with this stretch, you got to come out of this position pretty carefully because you're splayed open like a gutted fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crawl my elbows forward and shift my hips forward. And then just kind of lay down and then work my feet together again. So I don't want to come hopping out. <laughs> of that frog position, no pun intended, uh, because I, I just, my hips are in a pretty vulnerable place there, and I don't want to have anything happen like a, a pulled groin or a subluxation or even a dislocation happen at the hip because of the position that I'm in. All right, hip, shoulder mobility, taken care of. You can either do the 90-90 with thoracic rotation, or you can do either of those two versions of thread the frog.